Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, 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 welcome. I just grabbed a whole bunch. This is going to be for my Aquarius, and I'm jumping right into it. So I was going to say I do apologize for the delay, but I really don't. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Is so this deck is going to be for the first half of January and this deck is a monthly message for January. Can you believe this January, my little, my little Aquarians, my little water berries, my little fruit loops? <laughs> All right. You guys are definitely thinking about the past. Some of you are definitely just whoa, focused on the future. Aquarius, please. Uh, you could be dealing with a, a Gemini because I have that in my head. Um, some of you are definitely going old school on me right now. Meaning, yeah, I don't know if somebody from your way past came back around. Um, or if you're like, hmm, what's that person up to? I don't, I don't know what that's about. Don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing is going to be alright. And that message is, is for you. Okay. So, Aquarius, January 2020. 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020. Aquarius, please, January 2020. Watch me, watch me. Okay. I, I don't, I can't remember what sign had this. This is exactly why I was like, oh, you're going old on me. Um, seek out other possibilities. So I don't, you know, I don't necessarily think you're in denial per se, you know, but it, this is definitely being aware of your own emotions. I will tell you, Capricorn had this card so you don't know if you're dealing with a cappy but this is this is you this is you know whatever state you're in you know per se when it comes to what it is you're thinking about what's going on in your life you know it's nice to reflect but I don't know if you feel like you missed an opportunity I see I think it's a little different green might be very symbolic for you guys right now but you have a wish you have dreams. Go after your dreams. Aquarians usually have no problem doing that. Um, but you, you kind of go more after like passion. This is this this is passion, but it's 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 emotion. So it's 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 deep. It's in your gut. It's in your soul. Versus go 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 go. Okay, so you do have something coming into fruition, and you got two nines back to back. Okay, so things are about to get interesting for you because this isn't, I don't know if you're necessarily dealing with the cappy now per se because this, I'm, I'm totally getting a different type of uh, feeling for you guys. So just be aware that this month you're kind of going to be in your feelings and you're kind of like, you're definitely not liking it. My dad just dropped a spoon or something. Not really a tower moment, but like I said, you know, you're not, you guys don't like being all up in your emotions like this. So, so this is going to be for the first two weeks. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee as if I haven't had enough. So I'm pretty sure I was just like 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. <laughs> but it also just made me think of the show 2020. So you know, um, it's gonna say you guys love solving cases, but it's more Virgos. I, you guys do too. You make a Virgo in your chat, but like, you guys are really good PIs too. But, um, something ongoing, I'm not really sure what that's regarding to. What's that, Baba Walters? <gasps> Baba Walters? Anywho, Aquarius, January, first half of January 2020. 
Aquarius. This deck just got like, can't explain it. Uh, kind of thick and heavy, but <coughs> I just think you don't like being all up in your feelings like that right now. All right, Bruce. All right. You got the four of feathers, which is the four of crystals, sanctuary, rest. You might be avoiding. Some of you might be a little depressed, but not showing it. Others of you are just being lazy. But this is somebody who's just kind of like keeping their distance. But when you go to sleep, you got someone on your mind. That is for damn sure. Both of those cards are kind of like are the same. You are healing. And look at that. It is two fours. This is the four of cups. This is the four of swords. But two fours and two nines. You must definitely be seeing some synchronicities. I don't know if you're paying attention to them. But, you know, you're just kind of like, you're definitely all up in your head. But you're resting. So you got the King of Wands. All right, optimism. You're evaluating. Um, oh no. Well, yeah, you must be. I said it, but this is an innovation. But you don't see it like that. You're about to get up. Cause look at the horse looking at you. So you're about to get out of this. I, I, you know, within the next couple weeks, if you're in this energy, um, you're about to take action. The King of Acorns is the King of Wands. So I'm going to take the action. Looks like you're contemplating something. You definitely have some type of idea. I don't know what that's regarding. I don't think it has anything to do with an offer. I mean, obviously it could be. I don't... Very... I'm feeling like some type of invention, not intervention, like you got something up your sleeves, I, you know, Aquarians usually do, you usually do. This justice speaks of truth and clarity, right? But ironically enough, I feel like this is like a, a guide or something. I can't, well, you or someone you're dealing with, I can't, I can't place it. You're content. You go from being all up in your emotions to like, oh, no, I'm not. You do got a little bipolar energy right here. I'm not saying you're bipolar by any means, but you can go from one to a hundred. You can switch real quick. Like if you're in front of people, you're like, doo, 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 doo. You're, you're one of those people that could seriously be depressed. I don't see it, but like, and then in front of everybody else, you're just like the life of the party. I think, I think someone's changing here. Three different, very different animals. Aquarius, January, first half of January, please, 2020. I did just see 8080 on the board. So now you got the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Cups twice. There is some type of fulfillment, some type of something karmic. Karmic, like to me, this is karmically like being put together. I honestly, for some of you, this is like guides. Watching you transform. You know, this isn't the greatest energy, though. It looks like you're going to push through, but... You're going to be happy. You know you are. You definitely have a, a wish coming true. Some type of fulfillment coming your way. I mean, you have the nine of... Cups twice. 
Um, wow, that just, the chariot just flipped out of nowhere. Okay. So, you're definitely moving forward with something. Tell me about the four swords. You could be dealing with a Cancerian. Or you are a Cancer with Aquarius in you. So you got the Empress. I'm not gonna lie, she came out reversed. Um, I don't know if you're taking a break from a Taurus. Because this is very masculine energy to me. I know I didn't mention that, but I, it's just it just feels masculine to me. I mean, you do have a masculine energy here, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, you could be taking a break from a, a, a Taurus energy or, a, you know, um, I, I mentioned that for some of you, this could be guys. It, it could be actually be an ancestor, somebody who had already passed away, like a mother, a grandmother, a monarchy within the family. <clears throat> watching over you but for others you are definitely spacing yourself from a, a Taurus or somebody with children or somebody who um, tell me about the king of equal somebody that def a, a nurturer you're dealing with somebody you know um but, jeez. Oh, Goose, you're driving me ape. Tell me about this Empress for Aquarius, please. What's going on with this Empress-like energy? Knight of Wands. It's, it's almost like you need the courage to leave or move forward. This could have been somebody you were in and out of their life. You're not really talking to them. But you're still thinking about this person. You're still dreaming. You're still fantasizing. Yeah, see the hangman. You might be dealing with a cancer. Now you got the Queen of Cups twice. You could have a strong Leo in your chart. Or they could be a Leo. So to me, this is somebody you probably had interactions with. They could be pregnant or they have children. And you're not really, you're not talking to them. But you want to. It's like you're still keeping an eye on someone. You know it's some type of soulmate situation. The thing is, this person can make you extremely happy. Tell me about the King of Acorn. Let's look at that, the hangman. I had it twice. It was at the bottom of the deck over here. You're definitely, again, keeping an eye on them. Um, but it's like changing your mind. Um... Could be down with the Pisces. You, you put someone on hold. Tell me about justice. I don't know if that, that person you put on hold needs the truth of a situation. Yeah, yeah, questioning whether or not to enter somebody's life again. the seven of crystals which is the seven of pence you're definitely reviewing your options I don't know if you're waiting on some type of results right now you're waiting on some paperwork um, There's no synergy here, whatever this is. I can feel it. There's no balance. So whatever you're currently 
whatever your current situation is right now you I don't know if you're trying to hold out push on because you're already invested somewhere so you must have put an end to something like I said, this is a different type of all up in your feelings. Tell me about the nine of shells. But I mean, whomever you're dealing with, something's going to be transformed. Whomever you're dealing with it is like a, a reality check for you. Kind of like a dream come true. I mean, you could just be dreaming about this person. but Or whom, whomever you're distancing yourself from, this empress-like energy is... You're watching them transform, transition into something new. Because someone's feeling really liberated. This talks about liberation. But you're not, you're not free. Okay. By any means. And I just looked down, it was 1616. Let me Google that for you. Because that's got to be important. <sighs> a message to keep your thoughts uplifted and positive. Let go of material matters of concern. So you, someone might be thinking about their money right now. Um, you know, let go of material matter of concerns. The focus is on emotions, okay, which is it's for real. So it's like getting in tune. With, that's why I couldn't understand this one. It's almost like getting in tune with your emotions. Family, there could be um, a focus on emotions, family issues, home environment, new energies entering your life. Some could be renewed. It's repairing or adjusting. There's something bothering you, causing anxiety. It's almost like there's something so important to you, but I don't know if you feel like you can afford it or you or you can. You just you don't know what the future holds. Just be open to giving and receiving. Do not fear the new enter in your life. So that's that's major. Go look up your own sixteen sixteen. Okay, but um. This is all about a new path. The 7 and a 4 is an 11. Okay. Um, yeah, you're, you're definitely trying to get in tune with your emotions. You do kind of need the courage. This one usually goes real fast. Look how slow. It's like the mouse is trying to encourage the cat. Don't worry about a thing, cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Prayers, first half of January 2020. Just push through. Just remember, you're trying to control the situation. Push, push through, release. It, it's almost like something's kind of out of your hands. This is either you're about to release, this is what your lesson is in the next couple weeks, knowing that you can't control a situation. I think that's why I was thinking, don't worry. It's like, I, I don't really see it being out of your hands, but I, I think you're like, you know what's going down. You don't like that something's out of your hands. But but trust that, you know, trust. You got two guys of, of happiness. Free yourself from a situation. Because if you ask me, it's, it's, you want whatever this is. Whatever you're keeping your distance from, you want it. And it doesn't look bad. Go after your dreams. Love you guys. Bye.